the Dallas Police Department needs to be reformed. That is the message from the largest police association in Dallas, the DPA. And today, that group laid out its 10-point plan to reform the department. Fox 4's Sean Rabb went through the reform proposals with the DPA's president, Ron Pinkston. What would you find out, Sean? Well, reforms that Pinkston says he came up with after a survey of his officers showed many were, in fact, unhappy. In fact, he says, according to according to Pinkston, 78 percent of those who responded say they would discourage anyone from becoming a Dallas police officer. They are the city's crime fighters and the Dallas Police Association says many of them are not happy. We did a survey of our officers and it showed that 80 percent of the officers morale was low or the lowest it's it's been since they've been here. The DPA proffering a 10 point plan to reform the department beginning with strengthening ethics and increasing transparency. Right now we do training at the bottom. We need to have ethics all the way to the top. Everything needs to be transparent and open. There's no thin blue line that needs to be hidden behind. Ten times this year, Dallas police have shot and killed a suspect. General orders allow officers to use deadly force to protect themselves or someone else from imminent death or serious bodily injury. We believe it's left up to interpretation of the chief on how he dictates if the officers used force or not. In addition to wanting the use of force policy made clear, the reforms also call for improving both the foot and car chase policies in the department that have been restricted. We believe that the, these policies went too far overboard and, and they're not allowing us to serve the citizens the way they expect us to serve. The association wants clear policies around transferring to different assignments. They want to know when tests will be held for promotions and what qualifications are needed for the appointed ranks of major and chief. They also want improvements on internal affairs investigations processes. And they want to improve the safety of police vehicles that are supposed to be pulled off the street at 100,000 miles. We're allowing police cars to go out there with 130,000 miles on them, sometimes more. We can't have that. Pinkston acknowledges crime is down, but says the citizens are not being served by police in a way they expect. When you look at the big companies that, that are successful, they have happy employees, employees with good morale. We don't have that within the Dallas Police Department. Now, I contacted Dallas Police Chief David Brown. He's in Ferguson, Missouri, actually in Chicago, invited to talk with chiefs there after the shooting in Ferguson and nights of civil unrest that followed. He told me, though, in an email that it's, quote, my desire to work with all of the union groups, but it is my obligation to ensure we maintain the public's trust and confidence, such that where union demands jeopardize that trust will not move forward. Certainly we'll no doubt hear more about this reform plan in the days and weeks ahead.